Good morning, welcome to ASX at Breakfast. I'm Lauren Hayes reporting live from the Kelkine studio in Sydney. The Australian share market is expected to open flat this morning. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.01% fall. The Australian share market closed almost 0.9% higher yesterday at 7,402 points. Emerald Resources confirms its takeover offer for Bullseye Mining. Emerald has signed a bid implementation agreement with Bullseye Mining, where Emerald holds a controlling interest in Bullseye of 60.04%. Under the implementation and rather agreement, it is proposed that Emerald will acquire all of the shares in Bullseye that it does not currently own in an off-market takeover offer. The offer is recommended by an independent board committee of Bullseye in the absence of a superior offer. Under the offer, Bullseye shareholders will receive one new Emerald share for every four Bullseye shares held. The offer values Bullseye at approximately 55 cents per share based on Emerald's 30-day VWAP of $2.18. The gold miner will then be able to consolidate its position across both Cambodia and Australia. Adriatic Metals has confirmed its mineral resource estimate grows indicated tonnes by 93% at Rupus Deposit, which is a part of the Varez project in Bosnia and Herzegovina. The MRE has been completed and the company claims Rupus is a high-grade silver-rich polymetallic deposit and the recent exploration program has materially increased the resources. The updated MRE includes a 93% increase in indicated tonnes compared to the 2020 Rupus MRE, offering substantial development optionality to increase near-term metal production. The precious and base metals developer will continue with an aggressive exploration program throughout 2023 and this exploration program will run concurrently with the construction of the Varez project that is targeting first production of concentrate in November. Crisios confirms its EBITDA in 2023 should surpass the prospectus forecast of $3.2 million. The company is anticipating a bright future with the expectation that at least 18 of its high-tech photon assay machines will be deployed to customers in 2023 to 2024. Chrysos is part owned by the CSRIO and the company's flagship product, Photon Assay, delivers faster, safer, more accurate and environmentally friendly analysis of gold, silver, copper and other elements. The quarterly results included a total of 49 contracted photon assay units, including 20 currently deployed with the next unit, located in Ghana, expected to be operational in Q1 FY24. The company has a growing fleet of photon assay units in key mining hubs across the world, and by the end of FY24, the company expects to have at least 38 units deployed globally. Now it's time for a short break, but stay tuned for more news set to affect the trading day. Build better relationships, get connected, heard and noticed. We always believe in getting you the best. Kalkine Media's growing platform, Kalkine TV, helps you connect to an inquisitive audience from across the globe. Interact in a trusted environment. Showcase your brand on Kalkine TV in a seamless and effective manner. We connect and curate content as per your business needs. So why wait? Write to us at guestteam at calkine.com.au. Welcome back to the ASEX at Breakfast Report. The Dow Jones Industrial Average rose 0.2%, the S&P 500 closed flat, while the Nasdaq Composite lost 0.1%. European markets closed lower, London's Fitsu fell 0.2%, Frankfurt lost a half a percent and Paris closed 1.4% lower. 
Turning to Asian markets, Tokyo's Nikkei shared 0.04%, Hong Kong's Hang Seng lost 0.4%, while China's Shanghai Composite closed 0.3% lower. Well, that's all for our ASEX at Breakfast report this morning here at Kelkine TV. I'm Lauren Hayes. Have a great day trading and stay tuned for more market updates and economic news live throughout the day.